So uh, for people who are overwhelmed by this concept, um, I, I think you help calm us down and you've pointed out that there's already AI around us in many different forms, um, maybe on our phone. I went to great pains to point out to people right in the beginning of the book that they're already using AI. And a, a lot of them are using it in quite an advanced way that would shock people if they realized that they're using AI in their maps, for example. Uh, besides navigation and getting to where you want, that's yeah. using AI. Telling you Waze, where the traffic, Google Maps, yeah, sort of that, yeah. Telling you where the traffic is heavier, and as the traffic patterns change, updating you on that. That's an incredibly advanced use of AI right on your phone. So I don't know how I would get anywhere um, without without uh, ways. You, you talk about phones, and I'm one of those who believes that I'm being spied on because you have a discussion, something comes up, the next thing you see an advert, um, you make an argument that that's perhaps an algorithm which is crucial to AI. So let's start mm -hmm. there with something that we all understand. Sure. Uh, what's really happening there is that your phone is linking up all the searches that you do and all the information that you're looking for in your search engines, on your apps, etc. So if you use an Android phone, for example, mm -hmm. a Samsung or um, any of those phones, then um, Google apps are connected and the Google uh, Play Store is connected to all those apps. So it's possible to track behavior across those apps and link what you're searching for in Google Search, for example, or Microsoft Bing, if you're using that or any other search engine and link that to what you are doing in apps not spying on you as such in order to say okay we're going to target her but in an automated way and that's the where the artificial intelligence comes into it 